Hey, so in this video I'll be going over how to set up dynamic footsteps for an advanced locomotion system, uh, like you see in this third person example here, where we have different surface types and movement types. So we have concrete, grass and metal, and then we can jump and land, we can run, we can sprint, we can walk, and we can crouch in two different speeds. I am using the ALS project you can get for free on the Epic Marketplace. Uh, there's a lot more different movement types to work with here and it's a great starting point to just flesh out your footstep system or to um, just test out some stuff. Uh, the way I built this is for each step the surface type is being checked by a line trace from the foot that is going to touch the ground. So the detection of the surface type is more uh, precise than just checking from the middle of the character capsule. So if I walk on this line here, you can actually hear the different materials for each foot. Um, the ALS project offers even more movement types like vaulting and rolling, I think. Yeah, but uh, I'll be only focusing on the ones that um, I showed you, uh, but the system can easily be upgraded to um, account for even more movement types. Uh, you just have to expand on your meta sounds, the sounds you're using, and then just add the custom anim notify that we're going to build later uh, into the corresponding animations. In the first part, we will just prepare the materials on the ground here so that we can check what surface type they are when we move over them. And then in the second part, we'll create the meta sounds, one for each surface type. Uh, we will base these off of a template that we are going to build. So this way it's very easy to just uh, add more surface types to the game later. And in the last part, we will create our custom uh, anim notify and then add it to our animations. I have set up three different materials here, concrete, grass, and I guess this is uh, some kind of metal. And this fourth over here will be just a default type to fall back on in case there, uh, for example, there, there is no other surface type assigned to, to this object that you can move over um, so that there's at least some kind of sound playing as you walk over this. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to do is create uh, the different turf surface types that we know the player will be able to move on. Uh, so we will go, not the editor preference, but the project settings. Scroll down to physics. And then in this list here, we can uh, set up our different names for um, our surface types. So the first one will be concrete, grass, and metal. Uh, then we can close this and now we have to create um, physical material assets that can then be assigned to our actual materials here. So uh, right click, physics, physical material, And then I will call this MP underscore concrete uh, duplicate MP underscore grass duplicate again MP underscore metal and then open these up and down here in physical properties you can now select one of the uh, surface types that we just created in the um, project settings. So this one will be concrete, save and close. MP grass will of course be grass, save and close. And then MP metal will be metal, save and close. So now um, we have to assign these to our ground materials. To do that, uh, we can just click on one of these 
tiles here. Um, go to all and then uh, browse to our material. These are from the starter content pack. Um, open this up. And in here, if you click on your main output node, um, you can assign the physical material. So this one will be concrete. Save and uh, repeat that for the other materials as well. So again, click on the object, browse to the material, open it up and select the physical material. And that's all we have to do in the first part to prepare our materials uh, so that we are able to check for their surface types to uh, trigger the right footstep sounds. In the next part, we will create the meta sounds, uh, set up a little utility meta sound node. And then in the uh, last part, we will create our custom animation notify and add that to our animation timelines.